What's up everybody? It's your boy Nick with an increasingly ridiculous beard. Today we're going to be going over installing plugins on your Grav website. In the last couple of videos we went in, we set up a test bed, we installed Grav, and we installed themes. Now we need plugins, especially for the admin panel. And once we have the admin panel, I will be able to show you how we can install more plugins the normal way. Now the abnormal way is that you just take the files and you drop them into Grav CMS, which is a little bit different than you would probably expect. Most CMSs use a database, so you have to add the record. But in Grav, you just add the files. We've covered this in the last couple of videos. First thing we're gonna need is actual plugins. And the admin plugin is the exact place we wanna start we can look at the docs for the admin plugin though, and as we scroll down the page, we will see that it cannot stand alone. Admin requires login, forms, and email. Additionally, there's been a grab update from the last time we set up our system. Grab updated from 1.6 to 1.7. We can install the plugins first and then run the upgrade, or we can run the upgrade and then do the plugins, but we have to do both before we will be able to log into the admin panel. So I'm gonna start by doing the upgrade. The instructions here are relatively simple. If we go to Grav, you can see download Grav. Right here, you have the admin plugin. To do the upgrade, we need to do bin gpm self upgrade hyphen f. You can't just do this anywhere. You actually do have to be in the HTML folder. We'll go ahead and run that command. And we don't need to read the change log, but we do want to upgrade. And this will run the upgrade. Once that's done, we can double check that our website is still working. Refresh this page, 192.168.1.4. Everything is still working just fine. Now with the plugins, what we can do is we can download each plugin individually, but what doesn't work so well about that is when you do the downloads, you can download the plugin. Right here I have the Grav plugin email just by going into the admin page or the plugin page and typing in email and then downloading from here. When we extract this, it's not going to be named correctly. Right up here, get Grav plugin email. This just needs to be named email. but we don't always know exactly what the name is in Grav. And that makes things tricky, which is why we want to, as much as possible, use the Grav admin panel to install the plugins. Rather than doing guesswork for the admin panel, what I've done is I've gone to the Grav main page and downloaded Grav Core plus admin plugin and that is right here, Grav Admin. In here, you can go to User and Plugins, and you'll see we have everything we need, Admin, Email, Form, and Login. From the command line, it looks like you can just run bin gpm install admin, but I'm gonna show you how to do this using the graphic user interface, me graphic user interface method. You just go to your admin, grab admin directory, and go down to user plugins. You'll see admin email. Form and login. And then we'll go to the same place on our grab website user, plugins. And once we have this directory selected, we can just drag and drop across and our plugins should install. 
To verify this, we can go back over to our website with the URL at the top, 192.168.1.4 forward slash admin. And the admin panel is plugged in just fine. I'm gonna fill out the form and pause the video. I'll see you in just a moment. You may want to note that for the password, you do need letters and different casing. Otherwise, the system won't accept it. It is pretty smart to make sure that you're not as susceptible to brute force attacks. We will create this user. And the first thing that comes up is that the admin plugin has a required dependency now, which is this flex objects plugin. We can just click install and install the plugin. And this should show up on FileZilla. We'll go back over to the plugins page really quick though. And we can see that there's updates available. In the last video, I told you not to install Grav using root permissions. And the reason why you don't want to install root permissions is when you install things in root permissions, those files and directories get assigned to root permissions, which means that the grav user we created when we set this up will not be able to modify any kind of files. So when we go to this area and we want to update all plugins or we want to upgrade grav because we just see that version 1.8 has been released. If we did the install, using root, we're gonna get a bunch of errors here on our grav website and we don't want that. Since we did everything as grav, we can click update all plugins and everything is going to work perfectly and fully automated. And our plugins are up to date. Since we just installed the flex objects plugin, we can hop back over to FileZilla and we should see that directory added into the plugins folder. All right, I have successfully refreshed. Now we can see that flex objects is properly represented in this directory. We can go and we can do another test plugin just so that you can see how to add more of these as you see fit. For plugins, just go up to the upper right hand corner. You can see there's an add button. And this is the normal way that you're going to want to add plugins because the system will automatically name them exactly what they need to be. The plugin we're going to install is SEO because it's always a good idea to optimize your website for search engine queries. So search engine optimization. Auto SEO, we'll click install and continue. This is all set up. We can go back over to the plugins. I'm gonna try and refresh this again so that you can see that all of these plugins are just directories with some programming in them in this plugins folder. All right, in the plugins folder, we can see that auto SEO is actually installed. For these plugins, one of the things that you can do if you're looking to extend the functionality of Grab beyond what is provided in the base system, you can just go over to the Grab website and under plugins, you can just search. So if you want a comment section on your website, you can search for comments. There's JS comments or comments. If you want SEO, you can do that. If you want site mapping, a lot of these plugins are really simple and do an awesome job for what they're set up for. And again, using the automatic plugin add function in Grav is going to make your life a lot easier because the naming is automatic when you do it this way. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please hit subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for stopping by. This is Nick signing out.